nerd parade rambly style message straight from my word vomity mouth because I just can't when I just start talking I just blah, 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 blah. What is going on again, Nerd Paraders? Thank you guys so much for coming back to hang out with me. Play some more ARC Survival Evolved, and we are going to be talking about quite a bit of stuff today, and we're actually going to be showing off some cool stuff. So first and foremost, we're going to talk about where I'm at. I'm on Scorched Earth, and we're going to be doing something that I've had some requests to do, and I think it'd be really fun, so we're going to do it. We're going to do it really quick, and we're going to jump off the tower, and we're going to parachute. <laughs> we're going to see just how far we can make it if we jump off the tower and just continue to parachute all the way. I want to see if I can make it all the way to Blue Ob. It would be really cool. I'm pretty excited about it. I am Nick, guys. This is Nerd Parade. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. And we're going to be talking about quite a bit of stuff as I parachute through the skies just to see how far I can make it. Now, uh, first things first. In this video, we're going to be showcasing and taking just a, a, a really big tour of the Alpha Tribe on both servers, on the island and Scorched Earth. This tribe has been based on Scorched Earth the entire like season, and they have just been basically untouched. They are, in every sense of the word, the Alpha Tribe, and we were actually supposed to go up against them and battle them today for a, a huge raid, but truth be told, everybody who was going, like, going to join in on the raid backed out on us. So we had a whopping three people, myself included, like going after this raid and we're like okay th this is this is just not going to happen and you'll understand when you see the base but oh no i got screen freeze but it just it just wasn't going to happen so we lost interest due to the fact that it's season four is closing out we've got like basically one thing left to do and that's the giant raid on nerd parade tower which we just jumped off of and we're very excited to to do that but a lot of people have just lost interest and are really looking forward to season five coming out and that's people in my tribe uh, two, they're included. They're not. They're not excluded from that. And we're still sailing through the air. I've actually gone quite a distance. This is rather impressive. So today we're going to be taking a look and showcasing their base, which has basically been unraidable this entire season. You'll once you see it, you'll you'll know. You'll be like, oh wow, okay, this is crazy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stop overselling it. And while we're still falling, we're gonna use this opportunity to talk about season five and what's going to be happening now as this video is coming out as you're watching it i am probably already away but some of you may know some of you may not i am at the star wars celebration in orlando florida it's taking place through april 13th through the 17th or is it the 16th yes it's the 16th april 13th through the 16th and that's gonna i'm using that as the first annual nerd parade fan meetup uh, i've never done anything like it before i'm really excited to do it I'm going to be attending the convention as a convention goer, and I thought, hey, if anybody's in the area and is going to come, that would be a great way to meet up some fans. So that's what I'm doing currently. Probably as this video is airing right now, I'm probably running around the convention floor. So I'm speaking to you from the past. Time in, I'm in the past speaking to you about the future. I'm coming to you in the future. Time travel's hard. I need a DeLorean. But anyway, we are going to be kicking off season five once i return from the, the star wars celebration which is looking like it's going to be tuesday april 18th uh that's when i i return will be full swing and we're going to be kicking off season five on that very day and i'm going to use this opportunity to talk about season five can i steer this a little bit let me get out of k mode <laughs> let's try to get the blue wob uh, we're going to use this opportunity to talk about Season 5 and what's been going on. There's been a lot of questions about Season 5, and we've kept it kind of under our hats because we wanted it to be a surprise. But we're going to break a little bit of that silence today now before we do the uh, the incredible base showcase. And that th Season 5 is going to be themed, so, sort of theme-inspired, I should say. And that theme in is, in is inspired from Game of Thrones. So we're looking to have uh, like some larger tribe stuff. We're looking to have fewer tribes but larger ones and we're going to be doing more like alliance based battles and stuff uh, against houses instead of necessarily tribes so larger tribes there's going to be an opportunity to get into the nerd parade tribe a big opportunity uh if you uh if you're a nerd parade patron there's a tier to join the tribe you get instant access you were added to the uh to the nerd parade tribe so if you've ever wanted to be in the nerd parade tribe uh patreon up 
you can you'll get into this the nerd parade tribe in season five and after that after we've gone through and added all the patreons then there's going to be the opportunity for those of you that want to join that have been into the steam group and thrown in your application for the tribe because we have an application in the steam group right now to join the nerd paraders so first first uh first come first serve is going to be well actually uh patreon is going to be the first uh people added so it guarantees you access and that's the least we could do for people that patreon up to keep the nerd parade servers up and running and then it's going to be first come sort of first come first serve uh just put in your application and we're going to pick people based on their pvp experience so that we can be nerd paraders we can be house nerd parade in season five uh game of thrones in in inspired so if you guys are interested in jo long story short if you're interested in joining the tribe now is your opportunity uh, we wanted to do something bigger tribe wise so that we could play with you guys out there uh, subs uh patrons fans everybody anybody who wants to play should have an equal opportunity to join uh nerd parade tribe and that's what we're trying to create this season patrons will get first access is what i'm trying to paraphrase and then after the patrons have been added there will still be room don't worry there'll still be room to join the tribe and then we're going to add those of you that uh, are interested in joining so i'm excited about it i can't believe we've gone this flipping far we've almost gone from one side of the map to the other this is absolutely absurd crazy i'm gonna hit world border and have to kill myself but it's this was totally worth it i and we've been sailing for like five solid minutes because i've been rambling for that long this is nuts so nerd parade tower can basically take us to world border if we want to parachute through that's interesting though because there's world border right there where the sand goes <laughs> i'm gonna hit world border before we go so i hope you guys are excited about season five I'm super rambly because I'm super excited, but I hope you guys are excited about season five. It's going to be something new that we're doing to keep things fresh. And uh, real quick, I'm going to talk about some of the suggestions that I've had. I've had a lot of suggestions like, Nick, please do a new map. Uh, Nick, please do a no flyer season. Those are the two biggest suggestions that I get. And uh, the short answer to that, there's World Border. G flipping G, guys. G flipping G. Okay, so the short answer to that is unfortunately no we're not going to do either as either of those things and here's why uh the reason why we're not going to do either of those things is because i'll talk about the map first in season three pvp we did do the center map uh th for okay from here to here it took us like six minutes of parachuting but we made it i think it was pretty cool so for some from uh some from i'm stumbling over my words some from Season 3, we did the, th the center map, and we played primarily on the center map. The center map is an official map, even, but as you may know, it's got quite a few bugs. And bugs in the sense of what I... At places where you can build that just glitch you under the world that are almost next to impossible to raid, especially after the latest nerd... Nerd? Raid nerfs. I, that was nerf and raid mixed, and I got nerd, which is perfectly fine, because uh, I guess I am Nick, and this is nerd parade double time. I already said it once, I said it again for you. Okay. So we we want to avoid that. The Nerd Parade servers and the PvP on the Nerd Parade, Parade servers have become quite competitive. And we want to preserve that fair competitive PvP play as best as we possibly can. And that is the reason why we left the center in Season 3. And that is the reason why we probably won't go back to the center unless it has a massive, massive overhaul done to it. Uh, which corrects a lot of those bugs. Or any other map, for that matter, that is, I would say, not 100% completed. If that ever happens, if another map comes out that's 100% completed, then yes, we would definitely consider doing it. In fact, we probably would, because we all like new maps, but there has to be no room for, uh, I guess, imbalanced or unfair PvP. That's what we want to try to avoid. And the no-flyers thing, the no-flyers is pretty easy. Now, with all the recent flyer nerfs, and then, re, I don't want to say nerfs so much anymore, rebalances, there's no need. There's really no need. Flyers are such a big part of ARC that I never want to remove them. I never want to remove the option for people to use them, since they are such a huge part of, of ARC and of the gameplay, and especially now since Wildcard is taking care of the rebalancing and making things uh, more... Uh, like I explained in the other video, more like niche gameplay. Like, Pteranodon serves a, a specific purpose. Quetzal serves a specific purpose. Tapahara serves a specific person. Pelag person? Purpose. <laughs> Pelagornis serves a specific purpose. So on and so forth. Like, the rebalance is really 
answering that question for us. So the no flyer season is not necessary. Now, I am sorry. I have stood here. For, I've parachuted across the world. I've stood here for a couple of minutes and I've rambled for a solid 10. We're going to do something fun and we're going to check out this base. But I wanted to give you that special nerd parade rambly style message straight from my word vomity mouth because I just can't. When I start talking, I just blah, 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 blah. I straight up Murloc mode. We're going to be our bees. We're going to join the tribe, the Alpha tribe, on this server, and we're going to get a full showcase tour of the base, which I'm very excited about. We'll catch you in just a moment. All right, Nerd Parators, we are back in action, and we're going to be taking a closer look at the Alpha base. Now, it's slowly zoning in. I've already been recruited to the tribe and joined, and I'm, uh, well, I'm also joined here with Smokin', who's going to be our tour guide. What's going on, buddy? What's up, bro? Oh, we're just going to check out your ridiculous base. Holy crap, this would have been absurd to raid. <laughs> look, at, look at these turret towers. How how many turret towers do you have here? One, two, Jesus. three, four, a million? <laughs> One, two, yeah. three, four, a million. That's pretty much what we've got here. Okay, you got your tech shield up and everything. Wow, okay. I'm guessing where the tech shield at, that's your kind of core base area? Yeah, straight right. up, yeah. Right in the middle there. And then we're going to be checking out the whole thing. Now, we've got... Uh, wow, here's your, like, dino pen. It, most of it seems to kind of be built on pillars. Is that what... Yeah, uh, um, basically the whole dino pen was a lot bigger, but after the vault nerf, we had to redo the whole pen because the whole pen was vault dropped. So we just, just redesigned it a lot smaller just to house the flyers. I gotcha, I gotcha. Well, this is impressive to say the least. Okay, I see that you've repaired uh, where the vault drops. We didn't even bother, but I see where you've repaired where the vault drops had uh, had messed up. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have to give a lot of credit to Medo. He's our local builder, a Slovenian guy, really crazy builder. He's done all the building on the base. Okay, nice. Yeah, let's check it out. Okay, so we've got you. We've got Smoke in here. You're the owner of the tribe. Uh, we've got Cobra, Jurassic, uh, Medo, Dune, and now myself. And Medo is the architect, right? Medo is the designer yeah. of all this craziness? Yeah, it's okay. straight up, yeah. Wow, there's a, an absurd amount of turrets on this base. Raiding this would have been a very long and exhausting process and i definitely couldn't have done it by myself <laughs> so, <laughs> so i'm glad we decided to go this route instead of uh this is a much more passive route instead of trying to do it with three people <laughs> yeah no doubt my gosh okay so you're doing you're living like the kind of the compact life i, I like this it's yep. everything's condensed into one like small focal point which makes it even harder to raid now i'm guessing up at the top up here is just layers of vaults yeah okay exactly layers of vaults You've got like double triple ceilings and uh, yeah i mean the, we chose the base location for the no land access and really it's a it's a little bit uneven so trying to make a big base is not really good because you got to use pillars and everything so we decided like you said to go the compact route right it's it's not practical i totally get you okay so we're going to take a look at the map really quick as it clears up and they are right in this general area. Let me get, let me zoom in and get some cords for you. Okay, we're at about, we're at about 7544, if you can kind of see that. That's where they built on Scorched Earth. And let's get a quick aerial view of everything. My God, these turret towers go up insanely high. Oh. <laughs> yeah, before the nerf, we had the problem of the turtle dropping. So we really try to do our best to hinder that. And, right. Uh, yeah. And yeah, you guys, oh, butts. Um, I'm, I might be, I might get the opportunity to respawn in your bed here. Oh no, I didn't, I didn't die. <laughs> I, I just took the quick, uh, quick route down. Nobody, nobody mind that. Okay, so this is quite impressive. Oh, you've even got combat beds out here. This is great. Yeah, no, we got quite a few beds spread out all over. My God, the, just the sheer amount of turrets. Try to give me a ballpark number. Like how many turrets do you think you made? Wow, uh, I'd really be estimating. I mean, I, 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 yeah, I'd really, it's really just a, a guess. I don't know. Give me a good um, one. Give me, give me an educated guess. Um, just throw, throw uh, me out a number. Okay, uh, let's just say 500, but yeah, I'm not sure if that's too much uh, or too little. No, I think that's too little. I feel like you've got at least like a thousand turrets on this base right now. <laughs> this is yeah. insane. <laughs> We really went all out. You really, really did. Yeah, raiding this would have been crazy, crazy, crazy hard. But I'm glad we've got the opportunity to at least check it out. And is there anything I'm missing? Do you have any, like, secret hidey holes or something? I mean, just at a first glance, coming in here, this being the first time that I've seen it, 
uh, there's no way that we could have covered everything so quickly, right? Yeah, no, I mean, basically all the all the main looting and everything is inside the main core of the base, uh, just in the little black hole safes. Um, really? Okay. Yeah, otherwise we just got this one death wall over here and blocking the entrance from this side. So we thought it was a bit weak over there. And Let me take a look yeah. at that. This is over here where the wyverns are at, correct? Yeah, on the other side of it, we thought it was a bit weak because we just got the one tower down here. Let me get back on the pteranodon and take a quick look at it since we're... Oh, here, th this one, where all the turtles are at, right over here. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I see this. Now you've got the whole, yeah, I see it. Nice. Now you've got this whole island basically, well, not island, mountain, I should say, basically pillared off and, and vaulted. And this is so other people can't construct fobs or forward exactly. operating bases <laughs> yeah. right right on your right on your business. Now, that, yep. that's pretty smart. So it making this such a difficult thing to raid, like they would have to get, they would have to get really cl close and probably shot by the turrets if they were to blow these up. Yeah. But it prevents anybody from being able to raid the mountain. They would have to operate on ground level and only bring up what they were trying to raid with. And yeah, complete aerial assaults. Right, right, which eliminate, well, it doesn't really eliminate, but it makes it very difficult for things like gigas because yeah. you have to finagle those onto the platform. Our diplo soaking strategy would have been pretty much closed out because we would have had no way to uh, to get our Diplos up effectively without losing the Quetzal. It's a good base location. It's a very good yeah. base location. You guys did very yeah, we well were... with this. Uh, at, right now, with the current rating meta, uh, meaning post-nerf, the only thing that I can feasibly see to be able to raid a base like this is... Oh, I've got screen freeze, but is... Uh, manned turtle drops and soaking and i mean hours of soaking <laughs> yeah hours upon hours of just walking turtles off of quetzals to just soak whatever you can from the turrets and then suicide cluster grenaders that's yeah we were we thought that uh, the raiders today would be coming with tech rexes but i mean then again you got you got to put them on quetzals and we got seven right. war quetzals so it was going to be really tough for them to do any kind of uh, advanced damage chances are with a with a base like this and the quetzal carrying we, we did a little bit of a, a quetzal carrying thing with the tech rex and chances are that the quetzal will die before the tech rex even gets close i mean it'll be it'll yeah. die before the tech rex does and then once the quetzal's gone it's you got a problem <laughs> yeah it's it's gg raid uh, okay. so cluster bomb suicides is really the only thing that i can see that's going to uh prevent uh, well, not prevent, but be able to raid this and uh, a meta like this. But hopefully, there's been a lot of suggestions in Season 5, and hopefully we're going to try to... No no offense, your base is amazing, but hopefully we're going to try to prevent builds such as this. Uh, I want to get, I want to get things a little more... I, I want to focus more on, like, primitive PvP for Season 5. I want there to be a lot of primitive-based PvP. And I, I, think, I think we've got a good way to, uh, to bring that on. And what we've done is now this is we're, I'm, this is first information. This hasn't been released at all yet. That we've been keeping this kind of secret, but I feel like now is a good time to release it. We've increased the costs for certain rating materials, making them harder to to get. So mm -hmm. turrets and things like that will be more expensive on season five than they are vanilla. All right. But so will C four and rockets and things of that nature, making making metal bases and what i like to what i affectionately call player versus structure not yeah. such a, uh, a a problem not not that it's a well it, a problem we'll say because the way arc is going we're, we're talking about uh, we've we've stopped talking about the base and we're talking about arc, like we're arc theory crafting now uh we're theory evolved at the moment we're, the way arc is going it's making rating I don't want to say impossible, but so time-consumingly difficult. Really difficult, yeah. That our, for us to get a 30-minute raid video, we would have to raid for something like 8 to 10 hours. <laughs> and that that is absurd. So I'm thinking we found a pretty good balance for it in Season 5, and I'm very excited to to field test it. We've done a little like testing, privately testing, but it was it was good with private tests. But Big Tribes, I think it's going to be cool. But I hope you what guys... Do you think 
What do you think about uh, lowering the XP so you don't get to level cap so quickly and not able to actually get to the tech stage or the higher up tier? You have to actually stay within the primitive PvP zone for a longer period. I see. That's a good, very good question. I like that question. Uh, as far as level cap, I feel like regardless whether the XP is accelerated or not. Oh my god, look at these walls in this turret tower i'm just noticing that they're like four thick that's impressive i feel like the xp it, it's a it's it doesn't really matter too much i mean eventually you're going to get high enough level and yeah. what i want to try to offset is newer players so the reason why the xp is accelerated is so newer players can catch up to those who have been playing for a while okay I, yeah i feel like that's a good balance to keep yeah. things primitive though that's why i've decided to make the materials cost so much higher and it's uh, yeah. it's a decent amount higher, so I feel like that's going to be a good balance for. I think it might be one of the most balanced servers that we've done in the Nerd Parade season so far. So I'm excited to mess around with it. But that's gonna wrap mm -hmm. it up. I hope you liked it. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys like this base. It's so cool. I hope you're liking the season five information coming at you. Please hit that thumbs up button if you did. The next episode of Arc will be the absolute season four finale and that is both servers everybody that wants to come entirety of ev everybody and their brother mother sister and father attacking the nerd parade tower trying to bring it down and it is going to one way or another it's going to end with a bang i hope you guys are excited i am super excited thank you guys so much for sticking with us again hit that thumbs up button for us let me know that you like the stuff and if you haven't done so yet guys please subscribe to the page for some more cool videos just like this one and so you don't miss out on season five we don't want you to miss a single minute a single episode thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me we'll catch you in the next one remember to take care of yourselves and stay awesome later